Well, all right, all right, all right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. I'm Sean. That over there is Brian. What's and up? Back joining us again, guys, is our good buddy Joel. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for good coming back. You. It's it's a big deal because we've been waiting, right? And we know you're a busy guy right now and stuff. So we, we definitely mentioned a while back that we wanted to talk about House of the Dragon, all of us together. So we, we waited and made sure we had a little time stuck away so we could just, you know, chat about it a little bit. The, the season's over and we can give our critiques, you know, what we thought of everything and that kind of thing. Just a little leisurely thing. No big deal, right? So, yeah. That's yeah. where we're going to go with it. <laughs> <We agree. laughs> That's great. Yeah, so, uh, well, hell, I'll just kick it off and say, for me, I mean, like, dude, so over the past, what, month, two months, we've had nothing but Acolyte and just, you know, all the negativity that comes with a lot of these shows that are going down dark paths that we don't, you know, care, care for as an audience. And then you have shows like this that come along and just are like, so rare nowadays it seems uh they they still exist but man just what a superbly written show superbly directed superbly produced superbly acted i mean the the just like its predecessor game of thrones just a litany of great great character actors one thing i just can't fault them on they they know how to uh cast that is for sure and, and speaking of that, since I'm on that topic, that's what I love about, I, I said this to my wife the other day. I, so yeah, one thing they were doing really right is that I thought they respected the line so well, by the way, like the Lannisters, for example. I mean, like all the actors, they get to play those lines in the old Game of Thrones and this, they all have a, like a certain look to them. They all have like the reddish hair, the facial features are kind of similar. You know, I thought, wow, that's it's just really well done. Obviously, that that's my favorite as far as how they've done it. The the white hair and stuff for the other line, you know, it, it, that's just hair and a wig. It doesn't quite right. do it as much as the Lannisters does it. But I do like how, how they really try and, and cast it well and get the appropriate people in. I no guess. Let's, yeah, I mean. You want, like, you want to know? Yeah, I'll read it. Uh, let yeah, let me, read it, let off, me read it off there. Buddy. This is our, uh, I'll press play. I've got, what, 58 seconds to tell you. So here we go. <laughs> It's um, House of the Dragon, uh, season three, right? <laughs> no, season two. Is it season two? See, I was just trying to remember. Couldn't remember yeah, if it was one or two. two. It is season two, yeah. Right? No, it's, yeah, season, it's... season three, dude. Look. No, is no, it? no, it's season two. Season two, yeah. <laughs> we we know nothing about Jon <laughs> Snow. Uh, I'm telling you, yeah. This is great. I mean, because, you know, I mean, that's, that's a cool point to bring up is is if when you like a show so much, the technical side really doesn't matter. It's Absolutely. fantastic. We loved it. We enjoyed it. Yeah. So a, as an audience member or somebody who's uh, listening to us, um, th th this show is is really, it's not flawless, but it's it's really, really good. Oh. So I'll, I'll read the bit. So it, it, um, it is House of the Dragon season two um and it's a, an internal succession war within the house within house targaryen at the height of its power 172 years before the birth of daenerys targaryen all right so it's um it does have eight episodes and yeah. um uh there are it is for adults it's not for children definitely um, not for children man no. like i <laughs> Since you say that, I mean the most obvious thing that pops in my head was the the full on frontal blowjob. Like, yeah, that's pretty rough. <laughs> that was just like, what did I just see? And then my wife right. was asleep, and I'm like, I can't believe what you just slept through. You have no idea, dude. I, I I'm pretty sure we had a conversation. <laughs> and right. an old boy's dong was hanging out right after that. I mean, you just totally missed it. So, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that that guy. What what's his name? Um, that plays uh, aim no. Yeah, you and yeah, Mitchell. Like, Jesus, that guy, what a face he has, man, doesn't he? Now, I'm looking at his picture. Yeah, Eamon, Targaryen. Yeah. yeah. Prince Eamon, the, the evil dickhead one. Yeah. Um, wow. oh, is he it's not the perfect the animation treatment? There, there we you go. go. He's got the face, one man. There we go. It's amazing because you look at his IMDb pick, and you can see the face still, but what? I mean, just that. That smile that's almost uh if you're familiar with Slipknot's uh Joker mask, yeah, it's got the the old Joker mask, it has that real wry smile, and he's got that same face. And man, what a perfect antagonist, man. I mean, right. you just love to hate this guy. You just want everything to go wrong for him. 
right? Yeah. I mean, what a complete prick this guy was. Has the baddest dragon in the planet that we know of so uh, far. He's just, it's maybe. a second. Yeah, so if, if you listen close to our I know. Uh, preview. Well, she, see, I thought she second said second. Biggest dragon. Second I thought she said dragon. second to that dragon, though. That's what mm. it sounded like she said to me. There's a bigger one. That's second the, only to the girl up north that's getting The it. one she just found. Yes, see, okay, right. that's what I thought to the yeah, which. Anyway. I knew that's where it was going, man. Yeah. I'm like, this girl, she almost got killed by one dragon. Mm-hmm. Which dragon was it almost killed her? Oh. Is it the one Ulf's on? Uh, I'm not or was sure. It the one, the Viking looking dude. I love that the Viking looking guy with a <laughs> big blonde beard and everything. I can't recall. Yeah, I can't either. I don't I remember which one almost killed her. <laughs> I don't know. And, <laughs> dude, at first, like, okay, I don't know what it is about Ulf. Now, for some reason, he makes me think of um Tim Robbins. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I look yeah. at him and I think Tim Robbins and um Eric the Viking. Mm-hmm. I just look at him and they they've got a similar look, the the costuming and whatever. So I with Ulf, I really connected right away. I thought I'm gonna like this guy. I actually don't. I, right <laughs> now I think he's just a he's just a prick, dude. I mean, like and the other guy, the Viking looking to I don't know his name, but uh, uh the we, other we rider. Can, we can go through it. Yeah, here. see if you can back. find him. But uh, go back to the featured cast here. I mean, like he has a sense of honor. You can tell you knew that before he even got the dragon. Like right. you could tell he was a man of honor. Well, I mean, um, they went low, right? They went with the kid, right? The dying right. kid. <laughs> yeah. It may not let us get there. Uh, we have instant sympathy. You you stop me when we get to where, you know, if, if it's going to do it anymore, it's probably not going to do it anymore. Great. Yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah, I don't remember what his character Number. name is. He's probably upper corner you gotta allow something you know as i nah. so, as i sit here and look through imdb too i'm blown away because right i here. did not realize that this was that actor and i don't know if i ever pronounced his name last name right reese if finds i don't know how, yeah. if that's how you it say seems, it. We, we don't know i right love here. this guy man he's been in uh, like uh formula 51 was a great movie he was in he's been in a ton of different things i mean i wanted to bring him up there because is. it's such a stark difference from the replacements which was like probably one, one of the bigger roles that he's done right probably yeah um i had no idea that was him as auto yeah. hightower I mean, olé, 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 olé. exactly. And, and for this, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I know, not right? back to back, but obviously, yeah, yeah his, his younger days. That was his younger yeah. days, his yeah. 90s with Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it's it's absolutely wild. That uh, let me bring that up. I don't know. I'm sitting here looking at it on two screens. Let me bring it up so we can all see it. <laughs> well, there's so much in here. Like we, we were just talking about the dragons. We we can't necessarily keep up with all of them and and who did what and, and whatnot. We we could probably come up with a list right but yeah um, i mean i know there was sea smoke and that was one of the last right. ones to get uh put with somebody and Rhaegar. i want to say sea smoke's the one that tried to kill the girl mm, maybe i think that's right i think i remember hearing that maybe in a line yeah because i'm from, pretty sure that was a line that's the only reason i can say it darby yeah yeah i know i kind of said it but harking back to you've got you have an amazing story it doesn't if you want to be a geek, if you want to be nerdy about it, feel free. This show has got it in spades. Yes. Where we love to fall out. And I did. I know. Oh, I think yeah. they did, too. And yes. the, the big miss we we didn't have on Fallout was um, we didn't have a documentary that was really good. We had some behind the scenes. Right. We had a little bit of props and this and that and the other. Yeah. This show is dedicated. So it's not fan fiction. It, it directly has a, a documentary per episode. You could actually watch the episode and then watch the documentary to see how it, it went behind the scenes. So if you want to geek out, you can absolutely geek out on the show. For us, it was kind of nice coming off the back of Acolyte and trying to, you know, sit there and say, wow, we don't want to see any more of this, you know, and I just want to relax and I just want to enjoy the show. Well, there, there's some nice tense moments in this show that are really epic and cinematic and glorious on the screen where, where, yes. where it's you're you can just relax and enjoy it. And there are yeah. shocking scenes and there are surprising scenes and there are twists yep. and turns. And it's typical, George. Or, or Martin. So if you've re- if you've seen, read, or heard, or done anything with George's work, it is it is uh, typical of, of George. The, the story is very very typical. He's very. But I do, you will find. I do have a, 
quick question though like do you, either of you remember uh if the red wedding was at the end of a season it was wasn't it or it was, am i, I think it was it was five episode five or six something like that it was it okay. almost it was over the, almost over the middle the of the season yeah over okay. the middle yeah the middle okay I was just trying to remember because I, I was comparing that in my head to the Dragon Riders <laughs> scene. Now, look at this website. This is um, HBO.com. So if you go there, look at the detail yeah, they give you cool, on man. each character. Yeah. I mean, they are proud. Uh, uh, they're, they're, I mean, you don't get this with, with some shows. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. The, the level of professionalism with uh, this show is outstanding. I've Just always been impressed with HBO and the way they do stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Same. dude, going way back to Sopranos, Deadwood, Dead Like Me. I mean, you know, it, you name it. They have really put out some great shows. Carnival. I mean, the the, the Oz. I, mean, I was going to say, didn't they do Oz too? Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> tons like of one great of your stuff. Favorites. Yeah, I, I love gonna... Oz. Oh wow! So look at the detail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, holy. See now that that what caters to world. somebody like a Star Wars fan who loves like the visual dictionaries they come out with. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is like on this page, I think if wow. you allow everything, they'll give you the dragons, their thrones, their weapons, their lineage, Sweet. like all the details. You say, oh, can you find dragons on there, Jill? It says right here, Dragon Index. Uh, funny you should ask. So it goes. This is the website live. Okay, so yeah. there's two here. Uh, Caraxes. Caraxes, the blood worm. Worm. Ooh. Oh, you worm. Know, so, since we're talking about the dragons, I wonder what dragon skull ends up at the bottom of the... <laughs> Bro. I wonder whose that is. Right. How, how much you take that cost? What you want wow. to bet that cost a fortune? I bet it did. <laughs> My God. I mean, it is pretty cool That's looking in, in the show as well, right? Yeah. yeah. No, we, we don't see a ton of it, but we do get oh. a, a decent amount of shots of it. I let's think see, that's one thing about goes. this show I love so much is just the sheer number of dragon shots, man. Home yeah. character guide. Well, that's uh, dragon one thing I was going to say, too, like mix. compared to Game of Thrones, right. we were always like, give us the dragons, yes. give us the dragons. Oh, and yeah. like right off the bat with this one, they were like, here's a dragon. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. And just kept on with it. Yeah, oh, there's, oh, that's there's the shot right there. I love that one. Yeah. Ooh. My God, this show. I mean, this it's just this lets you just revel in fantasy. It really does. You yeah. can just really enjoy it even the intro like i remember season one the intro was kind of like yeah hey, yeah okay that's cool whatever but season two is like they knew their audience and they're like we're gonna right. go with this uh tapestry being built and it was great like it makes me want to watch it again just like the little me mechana stuff from the previous one dead right this looks like that uh well these are the ones that we've vis visibly seen and yeah then, no, here's ones we have not seen. that's so kind of cool i like that green, too because it's like green not fire moon green dancer fire. silver well, wing four of them sunfire tyraxis there's vagar vagar god this dude is so big oh, that's so yeah. who's the biggest one that's a good question she said vagar is queen she? of all uh queen of all the dragons largest dragon in the realm see that's what i was Twice saying the size see, of correct right. so yeah. the scales yeah. are deep jade named after the because there was this big Valyria. thing about like they had the biggest dragon and she was like we've got this this and this right right yeah we have more so i mean yeah. you can have the biggest but if we got five decent sized dragons you're screwed you know right. so this this um, is incredible, by the way. Yeah. This is what this is what I'm talking about when we were on Acolyte harping, and when I was harping about, hey man, gear talk. You know, Tim Taylor. Oh, oh, oh. Let, <laughs> let's go back to gear talk. Yeah. Look at this saddle. Who? I mean, this had to cost thousands of dollars to to custom make a saddle for a dragon, which they you know used in the show. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's uh, amazing. I'm, it really amazing. is. Yeah. That's but why, yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, I, I'm glad you found that site because that's that's really cool for us Uber fans that like to check stuff out like that, man. Right. Well, you've really, got a really documentary cool. per episode. You've got this website that's interactive to show you step by step and let you get used to the names. And I mean, if you want to go deep into it, but yeah. uh, from us, from our point of view, um, you know, I, I'm not sitting here spitting off technical verbiage from a, this is me. I'm talking straight up. Yeah, this, we're just this is chilling. Yeah, this Dog is him. me telling you the show is great. If if you're not a child and you don't want to be watching this as a child, although yeah, I watched right. a lot of crazy things, so did my wife when so, we were yeah. kids, when we were children. Uh, this this show, uh, nice, baby. 
Yeah, the, yeah. The, the so show really, really does. A condition like hers, right? Yeah, <laughs> to yeah. she can't watch certain things. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, th- this show it really does get. Uh, to, it does. I guess you could, from our point of view, this would be a rated X movie. I guess uh, I, 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 at, at a oh, level. Yeah, it would definitely be an NC-17. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. So at today's age, well, in the 90s, it would have been an NC-17. In the 70s, it would have been a rated X. Yep. In today's day, uh, they don't have to put a rating. It's HBO yeah, right, or, right. or Max. They don't have to drop a rating. But from mature. us, yeah, this is a mature audience uh, show. For so sure. you, you don't for want sure, to do that, you know, for the kids that are too young. Or you really don't. But it, it's also... I mean, a lot of us did. I mean, so, you know, it, it's nothing you could say about that, you know, but the, yeah. it's a, it's a thing. Um, but I, I think overall guys, I, I think this show is, is really enjoyable. Even if you didn't watch the other seasons, this season does fine on its yeah. own. It's got yeah. legs. It leaves you wanting. It's got that Chaucer type ending, right? The it leaves you cross. wanting at the end. You're only going to get one, one more Even season. Season one was great. If you want to go back and watch it too. Sure. Right. It is. Oh yeah. Is. Absolutely, man. Just watch yeah. them all together. And then when we get that final third season, it's going to be on. <laughs> right. Listen, we're, 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 we're running low on year. time, but I wanted to mention because a lot of people said that there was a John, that we, we heard that there was going to be a Jon Snow uh, right. show coming out. But Joel, you broke some news there, right? I did, but the, unfortunately, the the Jon Snow, it was on Screen Rant, Vanity Fair, Variety. Uh, basically, the, the headline is Jon Snow, Game of Thrones spinoff, no longer in the works. And, oh, wow. and I, I kind of think, I don't know for sure, but from what I can read uh, from the little bit that I do know, the Jon Snow show looks like it was going to be fan fiction. And yeah. we saw how well fan fiction did, yeah. again, harking back to Agalite. No, um, no, forgive me acolyte costs 180 million dollars this show right here costs 180 million dollars the 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 this this I'll, looks like 180 million. right this looks like 180 million dollars it's twice as long I mean, each episode insane. if not over there, there an hour. are little things you could nitpick i, I, well, sure. no, it's perfect, I didn't say it was but flawless it no. does look amazing yeah right. absolutely so i don't think what i think what's occurred with the john snow show is has I don't know this. I'm just guessing is probably there. Uh, there's a woke reversal in the society at the moment. And I don't Absolutely. know if the fan fiction is part of the woke reversal. Yep. So yes, it, it probably is not authorized fully by George or he wasn't happy with it. There could yeah. be some behind the scenes, creative differences. We're not hearing oh. about there. Yeah. It, it could be a lot of things. And, and I could speculate for days, but the, um, Yes, I would say the John, at the moment the Jon Snow show is not happening uh, yeah. because it, I don't think George wrote anything called the Jon Snow Chronicles. Although, thank you, George, go ahead and write it, and th- we'd love to see it. Sure, um, we would Always absolutely buy his pen. Sure, right? Yeah, feel free. Uh, but yeah, th- as far as I know, right now uh, the Jon Snow show is not happening. But that would have happened twenty twenty seven. That would have been because so, next year. Or 20, no, 2026. So this is 2025, right? I'm saying that right. 2025 would be season three of House of the Dragon. Right. 2026 would be Jon Snow. Yeah. That and makes so it sense. doesn't look like that's uh, what No, the I going. think they moved season three to 2026, didn't they? That's possible. That's could possible be. as well. Could I'm be, pretty sure be. they did. There's been a lot of news about it. People like, you know, what are we going to do while we're waiting for it? And a lot of the creators and, and people on the show are like, well, go back and watch this or read this and like sure. check out I other mean, material. Yeah, you know, I guess that's, yeah, something to do, man. There is plenty of stuff to rehash. Like I go through Game of Thrones again, man. Like I haven't seen it all. You know, I all could right, do so it. Here, sure. I'll, I'll read it verb, verbatim. Uh, USA Today and Google House of the Dragon season three has not yet received a premiere date on HBO, but on Monday, according to Variety, Condal confirmed that the season will go into production in early 2025. After the long wait between seasons one and two, fans should not expect to see season three before 2026. So Brian yep. is correct. Absolutely right, Brian. That's top of Google. Good call, man. Good call. Good call. That's just what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's go. Yeah, but I'm I'm willing to wait if they're I'm if they're willing to do Absolutely. it. Right, yeah. I am willing to wait. Well, as as long as, you know, it doesn't get ground up in like some kind of drama or whatever. Well, yeah, right. that's, yeah. that's why you want to get shows like going and keep going, right? Right. Yeah. 
perfectly, sure. perfectly happy with it. Well, good. Yeah, man. I mean, that's perfect, guys. I mean, that's exactly what I wanted. We we got to say, you know, what we wanted to say about the show. Nothing too in detail. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll just leave it at that. We'll look forward to season three when it comes out. Before we go, guys, I just want to take a quick look. You know, we don't often talk about it. Let's take a quick look at the pepper cam. What do y'all think? We'll transition to the pepper cam there because she's actually looking at the camera, y'all. Can you oh, believe no. That? Look at that. Yeah. Sweet. So that's awesome, man. Yep. The pepper cam. We never get to talk about it, but she's always there, right? Just hanging out in the background. But cool, man. So we're so excited, Joel, that you're back with us. And hopefully we'll have you back again soon, man. When we got Thanks, something sir. really hot to talk about. Um, thank you, Brian, for joining us again. And uh, guys, we'll see you soon and on the next podcast. And as always, be excellent to each other. I'm Brian, Joel, and I will see you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you so much.